Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Clayton Eckard's paternity trial was dropped by the court on Tuesday after he vehemently denied his ex Laura Owens claims that he fathered her twins and sexually assaulted her. The TV personality, 31, who notably appeared on The Bachelor during the reality show's 26th season, soon took to his own Instagram page to share his response to the court's decision. In documents obtained by Us Weekly, the court ruled that Owens fabricated her pregnancy, a condition which cannot have resulted from the party's interactions, because according to Eckhard, they never had sexual intercourse. Eckhard seeks to have the protective order invalidated based on the alleged fabrication. While Owens essentially argues that even if she was never pregnant, the sexual activity between the two and respondents' subsequent harassing online conduct are sufficient to sustain the order regardless. The documents further state that Laura Owens knowingly presented a false claim, knowingly violated a court order compelling disclosure or discovery such that an award of attorney fees and costs is appropriate. Following the court's latest decision in the case, Eckhard will be granted a non-paternity petition and his attorney fees will also be paid for. The court also intends to investigate Owens further due to, having determined that Laura Owens has a pattern of similar, if not identical behavior, and court involvement, referring this matter to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office for review of Laura Owens' actions. The star's lawyer, Greg Woodnick, said in a statement to Us Weekly, We are pleased with the outcome and Judge Mata's thorough ruling. We hope this is the end of a long saga for all the victims. Also on Tuesday, Clayton uploaded a video to his main Instagram page in order to respond to the court tossing out the trial. Today is a very, very good day, he expressed, because I woke up to read a very thoughtful opinion from the court and justice is finally being served. While this has been very emotionally exhausting, I want to thank the Woodnick Law team, my friends and family, and a community that sought the truth out from the very beginning. Eckhard then gave a shout out to his brother, Greg and Mike, by adding, they want me to extend their gratitude out to you all. They've absolutely felt the love and support, and we three could not be more grateful. He then stated that the court officially referred Laura Michelle Owens to the county attorney for criminal prosecution. I of course will participate in that matter, but I will not lose sight of who I am. I've had my own struggles and I am now committed to helping others while expressing that it's his sincere wish that Laura turns over a new leaf and gets the help that she needs. As I've said from the start, I would be the first to embrace her for making a positive change. I do ask that individuals please refrain from any commentary that could be misinterpreted as harmful. Eckhard then concluded, with that being said, the sun shines a little bit bright today. In the caption of the post, the bachelor alum penned, justice is served, and added that the court, filed a ruling in our favor to award us legal fees, on the basis that Laura Michelle Owens fabricated an entire pregnancy claim. He later added that his hope is that she is able to turn over a new leaf and begin to make positive changes in her life. It is never too late to do so. Late last month in May, Eckhard denied allegations made by Owens whose name had yet to be revealed that he sired her twins, saying that the whole thing was a lie. While on the Charlie Kirk show, he explained the situation he's been dealing with for the better part of a year, as he was named as the father of twins in a paternity suit he claimed is baseless. Why I'm here today is, I guess fame comes with a side of madness, the Eureka, Missouri native told Kirk. In this last year, I've been dealing with a false accusation from a woman who claims she was impregnated by me with twins, we are now a year into that and she never was pregnant. Clayton said that the whole thing was a lie and made a number of claims challenging the credibility of his accuser. She has done this previously to three other men that were aware of she's been doing this for eight years now at least, and she claimed that she was impregnated by them with T.W.